because as you know, in accordance with the PSA that, that Trotman signed, the responsibility for paying taxes rests with the government of Guyana on behalf of Exxon Mobil. They probably would have done some tidying up and those things like that, but the values there that they got in 2020 remains the same. Four years after, we can't even get the money that the audit, 107 million US dollars that the, the, the auditors um, set out its owed to Guyana. So I don't know what they're boasting about. They're just boasting about their failures. Anyone could even think about submitting an invoice for $12 billion. That's like two FPSOs here. I, I don't know how come they came up with that. They said it's exchange rate. I don't know what exchange rate they could have used, etc. So we'll get the explanations in court. Same thing with the petroleum bill. 34 amendments, 34 amendments we, we recommended. Every single one of them has been rejected, including the establishment of a, procure, uh, a petroleum commission. So they're claiming, you I mean, so, so they're, they're claiming responsibilities and want to make kudos for half baked implementations, short sighted and self service in, in implementation. They make mention of the audit. 99. Any of the audit, this audit, the second audit, that the GRA will go back and check all the back invoices for the past several years to see that there's been no overstatement. A load from $380 million for 12 inch pipe to $1 billion. The government has moved a gas power. Uh, plan from 200 million, 275 million dollars to 1 billion dollars. These are not things to boast about. These are the this is crime, shape, and mismanagement of, of um Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. The tax liabilities of the government. Because as you know, in accordance with the PSA that, that Trotman signed, the responsibility for paying taxes rests with the government of Guyana on behalf of Exxon Mobil. And so we are treating this matter seriously as a result of this. It's unbelievable that anyone could even think about submitting an invoice for 12 billion dollars that's like two fpsos here i i don't know how come they came up with that they said it's exchange rate i don't know what exchange rate they could have used etc so we'll get the explanations in court anyone could even think about submitting an invoice for 12 billion dollars that's like two fpsos here i i don't know how come they came up with that? They said it's exchange rate. I don't know what exchange rate they could have used, etc. So we'll get the explanations in court. We are want we are looking forward to get the explanations in court. And we are now ensuring that we also, before we finalize any of the audit, this audit, the second audit, that the GRA will go back and check all the back invoices for the past several years to see that there's been no overstatement of any of these um, invoices. It's a serious matter and we're taking it seriously. If they have explanations, because they can give it to the, to the courts, because now we have filed, we have filed char charges against, against them. And so they will, they will respond to that. Um, those, those are some of the issues I wanted to deal with. Thank you. Mr. Dragdew, Danish Broadham, Rari of Circle. As if the teacher strike wasn't enough. We now have this all over the globe. Everyone is covering it. CNN, soon Fox News, then NBC. Next thing you know, it's going to be all different languages. Global international coverage of something that you don't want at the center of government not when a person is looking to invade your country 
And we're not just talking Maduro. We're also talking about the big multinational, the richest and largest uh, company on the planet right now is in court with both arms of the government. And Guyana has an embattled honorable minister that's going against now his who knows what number alleged rape charge. Then you got a teacher strike and all the other things, so many other things going on right now in the government. We, as the people on the ground, we have to make sure that we keep in our head on and you put in persons in place that could make sure that the government is moving in the way and the country is able to progress in the way that it needs to progress because guess what? If persons don't go in there that could hold a unified front against what's going on, we don't want no division, we don't want no racism, but we definitely, we definitely, definitely, definitely do not want this at the center of nothing in the country. Because guess what's going to happen? Persons are going to think that Guyana is a tariff and they can do whatever they want to do in Guyana. And with that being the tone, get what? guess what Exxon is going to think? With that being the tone, guess what Maduro is going to think? With that being the tone, guess what all other mal actors in not just public but private is gonna act guess how they gonna move when they are ready for do what they want to do just as Callis allegedly one love stop rent to citizens whereby somebody just gets some some poor guy and his fellow sitting in a corner sign his name and he's on paper and then you qualify and you reaping the benefits of it they rejected all of those. No, no. I'm saying this 2020. No, all they're boasting with the local content thing. If they're taking our recommendations in 20 when we made it, and it's all public, and I think you would have them all. None of the issues here so, um, th that they're facing now would have arisen. They're claiming that uh, to a billion dollars was invested through this this um, local content act to depart. It would have been three billion dollars had they listened to the opposition. Same thing with the petroleum bill, 34 amendments, 34 amendments we, we recommended, every single one of them was in, has been rejected, including the establishment of a, procure, uh, a petroleum commission. So they're claiming, you mean, so, so they're, they're claiming responsibilities and want to make kudos for half-baked implementations, short-sighted and self-service in, in implementation. They make mention of the audit. The 1997-2017 audit was commissioned by the AP and UAFC government. It was in it was submitted to the GRA in September 2020, one month, or sorry, two months, because they came in August 1st, two months after they came, off, uh, came into office. Four years after, four years after, and that submission from um, H -H -H -I -H -F, has remained unaltered unaltered from september 2020 to, to uh, may 2024 four years and yet up to now we can't even get a, uh they can't move forward exxon has challenged it gra said they're sticking with the same report that they received in 2020 they haven't changed their word they probably would have done some tidying up and those things like that but the values there that they got in 2020 remains the same Four years after, we can't even get the money that the audit, 107 million US dollars that the, that the auditors um, set out, it's owed to Guyana. So I don't know what they're boasting about. They're just boasting about their failures and non-implementation. Two years after they signed the, um, the, the audit for the, for, the, for the remaining block, we still can't get um, it, it all released. None of the auditors have even been released officially. So I don't know what they're boasting about there. Um, the gas to shore, I, I, I will quickly mention it and um, one other, you know what I mean? In 2020, and there's a couple of things you have to know, um, Davina, and, and, and you should know if you do your research. In 2020, Exxon had committed to build a gas to shore plant to land a, a pipeline 12 inches, exact same, only to different um, locality, and, and fund a 
um, a power generation with a buyback scheme. That was all committed, and that was 600 in, in all in total was 600 and um, 655 million. And we had a contingency of 100 million, but obviously um, that wasn't the price. The price was 655 million dollars. 380 million for the pipeline and the gas, right? And 275 million dollars for 200 megawatts of power. And they're boasting about a project that has run a move from $655 million to over $2 billion. Exxon has moved the pipeline alone. Alone, it's not, it's not the pipeline and the gas plant that they submitted to us and committed to us. They've moved the pipeline alone from $380 million for 12-inch pipe to $1 billion. The government has moved a gas power uh, plant from $200 million, $275 million to $1 billion. These are not things to boast about. These are the, the crime shape and mismanagement of, of, um, of Guyanese resources or natural patrimony. And yet, after even spending $2 billion, or almost $1.4 billion, more than we would have paid, they still can't complete it. There's no end. 100% wildcrafted sea moss. From nature, by natives. Why pay more? I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not concerned with that. Right, if you're going to that, right? Yeah, Police want to prove for you. They can't prove for me for war. All right. Just come with the body and plant, can't But they're proofing him before. You're not speaking to you, right? I just tell you why. I just tell you why. Right? Just tell you why.